Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about if we're planning on having any more kids. Um, excuse me. So I want to just come on here and talk a little bit about that and a little bit about, I guess, some postpartum depression and all that. Um, so we have, if you don't know, if you're new, I have three kids. We had three kids in under three years. So mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, it was very taxing. Um, we are doing great. So like my kids are, my youngest is now two. And we I feel like we have finally gotten into an amazing rhythm as a family. Um, they're all, my youngest is going to be potty trained very soon. So they're all sleeping through the night. Like everything is great. We go out to, you know, to a restaurant as a family and everyone just orders their own food and everyone's good. So there's no taking care of a newborn. And for the first time in a very long time, um, I finally feel like myself again. And if you're a mom who has a bunch of little kids, I'm sure you can totally relate. Um, I finally feel like... I can do what I want to do. I'm a, I'm a holistic nutritionist and I currently have three separate, but I guess related businesses on the go. And I put, you know, an equal amount of time into each. So it's quite exhausting, but I love it because I feel like I'm finally doing something that I like and something that was my choice. Whereas, you know, taking kids, having the kids, of course, was our choice, but, you know, waking up in the middle of the night is not our choice and all that kind of stuff that comes with it you just do it because you have to because you love them so having this i guess new freedom has been amazing um i feel like i'm finally at a place where i am happy i had major postpartum depression after i had all of my kids lily i didn't really have much with she's my youngest but um, the other two, I had severe postpartum depression and my labors were brutal, um, very long and very insane. So because of that, I also have this fear or trauma around not only labor, but pregnancy because I, I had um, like that, uh, I forget the exact name of it, but that issue or condition in pregnancy where you vomit like 10 times a day where you're losing all this weight can't keep food down I had that but I had it right up until I gave birth like I was just vomiting all day every day and so I have this terrifying like this fear around pregnancy I have this fear around labor and delivery and this postpartum fear because of the depression that really affects your life and having other kids I remember when I was already had some kids and I was depressed postpartum I didn't even want to take care of the ones that I already had and and all that so there's a lot of a lot of factors to think about. Um, I'm not saying we're, we're definitely going to have more kids. I mean, I'm only 25. I'm very young, but um, having this newfound freedom and finally at a place where I feel like I can focus on my kids. We spend time together. I'm homeschooling them. Um, it's just really nice to not have a newborn just yet. Um, so I wanted to just bring this up and chat a little bit about this because I know that. A lot of people don't talk much, not only about depression, but they don't talk about fears related to labor and delivery and everything that comes with it. And you don't hear much about people saying how much, you know, once you finally get this freedom, how much more of yourself you feel like. I don't know if this makes any sense, but um, I never really, having children, I never really heard of people mention this. I always thought that that depressed feeling I had and that feeling like I was tied down and I couldn't do anything, I always thought that that was normal and that that was going to be for the rest of my life. But now that my youngest is finally two, she's doing her own things, everyone's kind of doing their own thing, I finally feel like the old way I used to feel, like my, the old Marla, and it feels great. And um, I've been taking this time to really focus on the family. I'm Christian, so taking more time to pray. There was a good few years there where I was so tired and didn't have any time, I barely prayed. And my my faith took a hit because I just didn't have the energy and I was so sick and so exhausted and so depressed. So even just with prayer, I feel like I have I have more time and I'm getting closer to God, which is which is really nice. We are currently doing natural family planning anyone who is on natural family planning knows that you can have a baby at any time if god wills it so um there's definitely the possibility that you know a baby can pop up any time but for now i am really happy at the the place that we're at and we're not going out of our way to try to conceive right now um but yeah it's babies are such a blessing and they're they're so beautiful and i i keep picturing what another one of our kids would be like or would look like i keep picturing another girl um 
and it's so beautiful but I just feel like at this time I'm finally taking time for myself to put my energy into places of my life that I really want to or need to like religion like family because when I was pregnant I didn't want to spend time with the kids I was so tired and my husband pretty much you know played with them most of the time so just putting energy into places and things that I really want um, and just having this time as a family so I did um, every time I, I feel like every time I think about the possibility of getting pregnant right now I know it's going to change but right now at this time in my life I get depressed and I get very like if there's like a fear so I get very stressed and very scared so um, I just want to share this with you guys because I get people asking all the time if we're planning on having more kids and I want to be so open and honest with you guys and let you know I know I'm not the only one who has these kinds of emotions and who feels like they just want to be a little bit selfish and take some time for themselves to be not only like the best version of themselves but the best mother they can be. I'm not going to lie when I say up until about a year ago I was so miserable, um, still happy overall but miserable like I just didn't want to spend time with the kids. I was so tired all the time. I was sick. I was nauseous. I was depressed. I felt like I had no time for myself. I, did, I lost who I was for a while. Um, I lost interest in everything that I used to love and uh, activities that I used to love to do. Um, I just didn't care about going to church as much and then now that I finally had this big gap between you know, but Lily, she's the longest I've ever gone without being pregnant since I've been married. Um, I finally have this gap where now I realize like the old Marla's coming back and I actually have energy for the things that I used to love. So I'm trying, I'm being a little bit selfish by taking this time for myself to really, um, I guess be the best mom and be the best version of myself for my husband as well. So, um, I'm sure some of you guys are going to totally be able to relate to this, which is why I'm sharing it. I just uh, wanted to let you guys know that this is where we're at right now. Um, my husband wants more kids. He can have like a million kids. But I feel like all men are like that because they're not the ones who actually get pregnant and give birth and are home with the children most of the time. Um, but And he also came from a smaller family, so it's so normal that you know he wants to have a lot of kids, whereas I came from a huge family. So I'm kind of sick of kids now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where we're at. We are... Um, just thriving as a family of three right now and like I said you know we are going to have more kids at some point I don't know when and we're taking it one day at a time um, and also we are you know God is a big part of this and if he wants us to have another one we will so just sharing this with you guys um, I have a video coming out soon so we're currently almost done renovating our basement so I will once it's done which will should be like within two weeks I will be filming um, a house tour for you guys so you can see what our house is like so I've been getting a lot of requests for that and I just haven't got around to filming that just yet um, our basement was unfinished and it was a big mess so now it's more nice and I'm happy to share it soon so stay on the lookout for that but comment down below please let me know if you have similar feelings to me how many kids you have anything um, I like chatting with you guys and getting to know each of you so I love you all thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one bye